Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm working on an exterior uh, rendering um, showing how to get a get a good effect. Like so, here I have some fog and I just want to show how I added that fog and some other tricks that you can learn. This is leading into adding backgrounds and, and uh, images like HDRIs uh, instead of using Photoshop. Um, I used to use Photoshop all the time, but uh, getting into that. So uh, let's start off by adding some some tips and tricks to to your rendering to give it a realistic feel. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, here, so I have it set, you know, on my time. Let's look at our time here. So I have it at 4.45. Um, looks like it's in November, November 8th. So um, for that time zone, this is what we have. This is the, the evening look that I wanted, but that's not exactly enough. Um, I want more of an effect. Now, usually I would have taken this image and just... Uh, export it and import it into Photoshop and did some Photoshop work but to save yourself some time and you may still want to go into Photoshop to do some extra things if you'd like to save yourself some time take advantage of what the render gives you so uh, so here we have this rendering let's go ahead and see what else we can do so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this rendering right here and we're gonna open up the Thea tool and the Thea tools in the tools panel Let's run over to um, environment. Now environment here, uh, when you're wanting to add your background, your, HD, your HDRI images, say if I wanna have like mountains or some, some uh, scenery in the background here, this is what you're gonna use. But first, let's go ahead and um, let's do something like add, let's add some fog. Or um, even if we wanna create a nighttime rendering, uh, I'll show you what this uh, custom medium does for you just on its default um, so let's go ahead and uh, so if we just render this like so and we will render in presto so we can interact with the uh, rendering while it's rendering so we have this look here eh, it, 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 it's good but you know it's kind of plain I want to I want to I want my presentation to stand out you know uh, you know, you want your presentation to stand out. So let's 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 make this look as realistic as possible. So let's add some fog. You know, global medium, you have your fog here, and you have a custom medium, and I'll show you what that does on default, but let's just select this global medium here. And look at the the effect it gives. It gives a more realistic effect as if it's it's is misting or snowing and like I said you may still want to go into Photoshop and and say let's add some 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 transparent looking snowflakes and try to give it a a nice realistic look but this this looks really nice um, and don't forget you can mess around with the fog density here so if you want like a blizzard let's set it to 85 hit enter oh yeah that's uh a lot going on right there but uh, once that rendering completes it you might you might have a really really nice rendering there um, if you're going for that look but let's take it back down let's take it to 30 yeah so we got we got the fog going on there and it, it looks really nice um, now I'm not sure if you if you guys like what I do whenever I do like a nighttime rendering I like to I used to go into Photoshop a lot and I would just like crop out the background or the the the, um, the background of my image and darken it and then do all types of work all types of stuff and it, ultimately it'll look great it'll look great but look at check this out so if you just select custom medium and just go with its default it's going to darken everything and whenever you have light it's going to sh it's going to show that 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 uh whatever it's bouncing off of so it's going to show those surfaces and darken up everything else and a final rendering here would be nice and like i said you can always still go into photoshop 
and touch up some things or add some things. Or if you're in SketchUp, just you want to add more light. Say if you want to see the back of the house, let's put a little ba a porch light back there, you know, and you'll be able to see a little bit going on there. But it gives it a more realistic feel, you know, as if this is the dead of night, you know, pitch dark, and you just have your exterior lights here and your light light inside. So th those are a couple tricks um, there. And like I said, this environment section, this is where you're going to be adding your backgrounds and everything. And if you're interested in learning how to add backgrounds, um, the link is below for my Udemy course. Um, I'll be showing everybody how to add those add those background images here in Thea Render. Um, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this video informative and see you at the next one. Hey everybody, I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings, you can come here and under SketchUp models, you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos. If you notice when I start my models, it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form, that, that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings. Whether it's Thea Render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp, you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit, so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.